Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the OtterBox Defender series case for the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, I did do a review of the commuter case, um, I want to say a month ago or so, on the channel. And I've got a couple comments from folks asking about what, you know, the commuter versus the defender. If you're talking about protection and you really want to protect your, your phone uh, from damage, if you drop it and all of that. Now, I have not yet looked at the symmetry case for the S20 Ultra. I've done those in the past for um, the iPhone XS Max, Galaxy Note 9, I believe. It's all a blur now. <laughs> But I've, but I've looked at the symmetry cases before. Uh, it actually might have been the Galaxy Note 10 Plus that I had the symmetry case for. But long story short, um, I did get the Defender because I had a couple questions on the comment section. And uh, actually a couple people emailed me and saying, hey, can you do a, a look at, take a look at the Defender? So again, this is my S20 Ultra. Uh, it's using OtterBox uh, Commuter right now, which does, I think, offer really good protection. And it's not super uh, thick or cumbersome or anything like that. Um, I do really like this case. It's, it's, it's great. Uh, I'll link to the unboxing and kind of the first look I took of this in the card above. Uh, I'll make a separate video doing maybe a comparison side by side of the two cases. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know um, if anyone cares to see that in detail side by side. I'll do it, but right now I'm just going to take a look at the Defender. So, um, comes in a box, obviously. So this is a screenless edition, and if you don't know, uh, basically uh, in some of the other versions for other phones that have more of a flat screen, um, they do have like an inbuilt screen protector as part of the Defender series of cases. Now, obviously, curved screens, all these modern devices from Samsung and all of that, they really can't do that. So this, this, this is why they call it screenless. So, you know, drop protection, dust protection. It's a multi-layer case, and this has a belt clip slash holster. Now, I'm not necessarily one that would even use the belt clip because in the holster part of this because... I just don't wear, <laughs> I stick my phones in my pocket. I don't really uh, clip them on my belt, but it's a nice thing to have for those that need more of the sturdy case and uh, you don't want to put it in your pocket for whatever reason you want it. You're, you're used to kind of that holster sort of uh, scenario. So you can definitely do that. Um, the uh, Subcase Unicorn Pro also has this kind of holster uh, set up and I'll, you can link to some of those. Also, uh, if you're looking for like that kind of rugged case like the Defender um, in a different brand, uh, might be something to take a look at, but OtterBox does make really good cases. So, well, I mean, the holster's the holster. Uh, I'm not gonna say too much about it here. Um, you have your rotating clip. Yeah, fairly nice action, fairly sturdy. But yeah, so if you like you like holsters you got a holster now what people mostly probably care about is the actual case so with these cases you basically end up with like a multi a multi-piece case so you have the back kind of rubber material which gives the whole case a rubber feel to it as opposed to something, well, I'll just kind of do this right here now. So as opposed to something like the commuter, the back of this is plastic, right? And it does have a few little rubber pieces that stick out on the, on the edges and the sides, but the back itself is plastic. So here, the back is rubber. So slightly different setup, right? So it gives you lots of grip. You know, this is not going to slip out of your hand if you're grabbing the case because the whole thing basically... <laughs> is rubber. So then you have basically the inner layer of the case, which is this plastic. Now, um, there's two pieces of plastic here, and you can see the arrows. See these kind of arrows along the edges? If you pop these clips off, you end up with an inner piece 
and an outer piece. Now this outer piece kind of protects the edge of the phone around the front of the glass. So it kind of sandwiches the phone into the plastic piece of the case and then the rubber wraps the plastic, right? So you have, I, I guess this is not necessarily a layer. It's probably considered part of this inner layer, but it, it really locks your phone in there. Now, and you know, this is the certified drop protection logo here from OtterBox. And then this has kind of like a, uh, it's like a foam. It's not that very thick, but a little bit of a foam backing on here to kind of protect the back of the phone, give it a little bit more shock absorption. You know, if you drop it, it's not glass on plastic. It's you're in the back of your phone would, you know, rub against this or push against this foam. So it gives you a little more protection there. That's really kind of the main difference there between those two cases. Um, one is a rubber, a rubber inside piece with a plastic outside piece and the Defender has a plastic inside piece and a rubber outside piece. So just, just flip, they flip that around a little bit. So if we put the phone in and see it just fits in there pretty, pretty simply. And then what you do is just kind of snap in. You snap the front piece on just along those, air, you know, the little arrows where the clips are. So you put the phone in snap the front piece on and then you go ahead and stick it into the rubber and then too if you can see it's kind of hard to see here the this top piece that holds the phone in and the back of the case provides a little lip and then this rubber just kind of fits into that so you're really kind of sealing in the phone fully encased you know in plastic and in this rubber to kind of keep dust out of there so there's it's really going to have a hard chance of getting dust into this gap because of that that little lip um, now at the bottom the same sort of thing as the commuter you have your port cover so you can cover up the USB-C port, protect that from getting wet or not that you really need to in this phone, but, and then you have your ports for your speaker, for your microphone, and then your microphone there on the top as well. And then, yeah, I mean, this is, this is a protective case. Um, you have basically an edge raised above the height of the screen around the whole thing. So if you do drop this, even dropping it face down, you have a likely chance of it not breaking the screen because you do have like this pretty high forehead and chin um, from a kind of like a lip perspective. I don't know if you can see that. You know, you have a pretty good uh, lift there. And then as well as this ridge is higher, this piece here, the side piece is higher than the screen. Just barely, but it's higher than the screen. So the combination of this being higher than the screen on the sides and then the top and uh, bottom of the phone really gives you, you know, a chance to, that the screen's not going to hit the ground or unless there's a rock. Obviously, if you drop it on some concrete or you drop it on something where there's like a protrusion in the center and you're going to drop it right out. Yeah, I mean, obviously the screen might crack, but... If you drop it any other way, here you have a likely chance of it being perfectly fine, um, just because this case is pretty pretty robust. Now it's not that much bigger, I guess, than the Defender or uh, the the Commuter from just like a size perspective, and even a thickness perspective. It's not that much bigger. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty close, pretty close in size, in thickness. Obviously, not as protective because of the things I just said. Um, but I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll try to do a side by side comparison in a different video. But I just really wanted to kind of 
do this quick video. Um, and then two, I guess, you gotta take a look at this. So the buttons work pretty well, still positive feel on the power and the volumes. And then you see here, you get this like little plastic notch from the back side of the case that protrudes through. That's for the connector on here. So when you put it in here, there's some place for it to clip. So that kind of clips onto the plastic, which is like that inner layer of the case. Okay, like that. So locks it in. Now, obviously, because it's that way, you can put the phone in you know, either direction. If you want the camera facing this way, you want the camera facing up. If you're worried about um, hitting the buttons for whatever reason, if your shirt or something like that would be pushing on them that direction, you might you know flip it around. So you just have a couple different uh, options when it comes to all of that. So because I don't have my wireless charger right here and easily uh, accessible on this table, I just check, checked out the wireless charging. Wireless charging works fine. Um, just dropping on the charger, it will charge. Uh, the wireless power share does not work. Um, at least and I tried it on the Galaxy Buds and also uh, with a different phone. And it, it, it's, I think it might just be too thick, the plastic and the rubber. At least for me, the wireless power share does not work. But wireless charging does work. And that's, I mean, you're obviously going to run into that when you're looking at these heavy, thick protective cases. You know, it's going to interfere with things like the power share. But wireless power, uh, wireless charging does work. So that's just a quick unboxing, quick first look at this case. I do really think that, I mean, this is the one I would go for if I was really worried about drop protection and wanting to protect this phone, uh, you know, from getting damaged. Uh, this, this front ring plastic here, um, the combination of how this is built, super, super sturdy, super secure, definitely, definitely gives a lot of protection. And then even here you can see on the back, like this is really recessed in there. So even if you put it face down, you're not likely to scratch up your camera module lenses or anything like that. So all in all, really, really protective case. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop those below. Please consider subscribing to the channel, giving this video a thumbs up. I will try to follow up uh, in another video uh, with, a, with a more in-depth comparison between the Defender and the Commuter. You know, I did do just a little bit of um, you know, main differences in how the cases are constructed, but uh, I'll do more of a thorough side-by-side -side in a future video. This is Andrew from T is for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <music>